This is episode 62 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, October 25th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve celebrate October Beer Fest 2021 with German style Martins and Fest beers. This is the Pod Crap Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yes. We got tech guy, Steve. I'm here. Steve. On time, sort of. Fumble. We got the band back together. Yay. After it seems like uh, quite some time apart. Now we're rocking. A week and a half. <laughs> Get a half. <laughs> we're back together. Hey, so, uh, uh, guys, uh, it's our second annual Oktoberfest edition. Yeah. Yep. Got some uh, Oktoberfest beers we... Uh, we almost let October sneak by without these. So, yeah, the word didn't go all out this time for our Oktoberfest. She says it's too early. So, mm-hmm. too early. It'll happen in another time. Well, what we do have is we we have four Oktoberfest beers, Charlie. Yes. You have uh, uh, you have one from Founders. You have one from Sierra Nevada. Uh, one uh, and then a couple local here to Southern California. Uh, an Ennegrin and a Fall. So yeah. here we are. Let's get right to it. Yeah, we're not holding back. This is all about beer. Look at that action. That's a good looking beer right yeah, there. It's good. Can you put the can in there? Woo-hoo. It's a we good looking some, beer. Got some videos going here. So check out our, um, our Instagram page we'll for some reels. We'll have it worked out. There you go. Yeah. So uh, what's up first here, Charlie? This is the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. So the Sierra Nevada. Oh, it's like a Marzen. Amber Marzen, Ooh, I believe, yeah. is what this is, right? I love a good Marzen. So Amber Marzen comes in at, uh, what is it, 5 point, I think it's uh, 5.5%. So it's a Marzen-style amber lager. Yeah. So it pours that nice amber color. Smells Sm- wonderful. Smells like really caramelly. Oh, that is a good, be- shockingly better and than I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. Did you pick all four beers today up at Bottlecraft? No, I went the other day. I went, but I mean, you picked them all up at Bottle. Yeah, well, except for the fall one. Okay. Uh, but I had um, I did two little tasters of cellar makers there while I was there, and I'm like, "Hey, Gene, what's up?" He goes, "All the German Oktoberfest beer is gone." But he goes, "How about the local store? The you know the stuff you can get normally?" So I said, "Yeah, love to do it." So that's why the uh, fall integrin. Founders isn't local, but Sierra Nevada isn't local, but you can get it. So it is available, but super tasty. Mm. Wow. No, Up that there. is good. Kind Up of caramelly. It's gonna be. The Marzen is uh, is one of my faves, so always looking out for those. I used to love that. Um, what was the place down there in? Uh, Gordon Beers. Yeah, Gordon Beers is Marzen. Yeah. Was always delicious. It was good. Yeah, we had it at our wedding. I went. Did you? Mm-hmm. That was one of my favorite. Thanks for the uh, invite. Yeah. A little earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Those garlic fries that they had. Oh, yeah. The, well, that uh, absolutely that Marzen, helps with the Marzen. That was my, uh, that was my yeah. go-to at that now, spot. Now we're telling stories again. That's right. <laughs> double, double time. We're doubling up <laughs> every, every 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 Oktoberfest is going to be the same story. Same story. <laughs> what was that place called? Remember the Gordon <laughs> Beer? Sh- and now it's a Puesto, and they got pretty good beer on tap there, too. Yeah, we need to have some samples. I don't think they have, well, they may have growlers, but I don't think they have crowlers to go out there. Mm. So I don't even know if they sell beer to go. Do they? they do. Yeah. Well, they, you can do like growler fills, like you had said, I think. I'm not a big growler um, fan. You got to, you got to be committed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a quick pour. I'll have to pick it up when we're, the day we're recording. <laughs> we're so going to do something heavy. That's a really good beer, that, that yeah. Marzen. Nice, I like nice, it. Nice, nice uh, can. Got the German blue. Going. Yeah, the German blue. Okay, you ready for a number two? Or do you want to talk some more about this? What's it What's it get a, on untapped? Did anybody check it in? Or are you checking it in as we speak? Not checking it in. He's just not checking anything in. Checking your emails? Mm-hmm. <laughs> checking my email. I'm taking notes over here. Mm. Go ahead. You got it. Pouring. 
What's uh, what's that. next, Charlie? This is Founders Oktoberfest German style Mars, and it's a little lighter. If you can see that, it's a little goldener, but not as ambery looking as that other one. Just, oh, sorry. Put the can in there and then rotate it around. Just one time, like in a circle. So everybody. So here's a, another Marzen. Uh, yeah. The Founders Marzen comes in at six percent. They say blink and you'll think you're in Bavaria. Oh, uh, we went man. all in on the traditional. Uh, uh, all in on traditional with our Oktoberfest using imported German malts and hops with the beautiful lager yeast for a finish. Pours a, a gorgeous uh, copper hue with a rich and malty and slightly sweet background. Our version is akin to the beer poured oh, uh, in the early days of Oktoberfest, and yes, it adheres to the Reinheitsgebot. Reinheitsgebot. Founders. Mm-hmm. What's that one beer they have? Hey, in? that's uh, good. The, is it the Everyday IPA or the All Day IPA? Um, they, all Day IPA. Yeah, they, they got make, a bunch uh, of different ones that are... Don't they make a, a stout, a dry stout, and a regular a barrel-aged stout? And, and where are they located at? Uh, they're in Michigan. Uh, they're in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, yeah, they make a bunch of, uh, they make uh, Canadian breakfast stout. They yeah, make, that's um, it. They make all day IPA. They make a regular breakfast stout that's got the crying baby on the, on the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Then they do some, uh, Canadian breakfast stouts and, uh, other, uh, they get a little, uh, um, a little crazier from there. I think that, that CBS and the KBS are like their mm-hmm. two, uh, kind of big stouts. Two go-toers. Yeah. So I did order some of the Sierra Nevada, the um, the porter. Oh, did you? Yeah, um, flavored porters. Uh huh. So, a couple of weeks they said shipping. We should do a porter uh, episode. That'd be we different. Just, uh, I just got a couple bottles of uh, porter in the, in the hey mail. Hey porter, hey porter. Mm-hmm. That's a good country song. Is it? Yeah, yeah that's a good song. What uh, What yeah. do you like of those two uh, mm-hmm. Marsons guys? I'm liking the, the uh, founders. It's really light. Founders is yeah, yeah I, I like it. Really it feels, pours it a, little feels a little bit like a German, like a yeah. German it's got a sharper flavor, you know, to the ingredients. Mm. It's smooth too, man. Doesn't smell as much as the other. No, it doesn't have that nosy nose on it. Oh, it is a little sweeter. I think huh? it's good. Kind of like you. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's too much. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how you can tell, like. Tell what? There's just not enough information about the what's in the beer. They don't put any in the hops or anything in there, whatever they're barley or whatever they're using. Beer stuff. Mm-mm. List of ingredients. I mean, it should just be it's a list of ingredients. It's only like four ingredients, right? Yeah. But it doesn't say anything in there. They just say, like. I got a, like a little peat mossy peat smell. Moss. Just a slight smokiness. That's what I'm getting out of it. But, uh, yeah, but you can get these. You can get mm-hmm. that uh, Sierra Nevada, and you can get that Founders, and you're going to be able to get this Integrin, and you can actually go to fall and get their Oktoberfest, too. So all these are gettable today. Yeah. You know, so if anybody's interested, you can go get them. I mean, hey. Bottlecraft would be easier to get the Founders and the, and the Sierra Nevada, but these two you can get. So this week, guys, was the San Diego... Uh, was it the San Diego International Beer uh, Awards? Uh, you, t- you tell me. Yeah, I think it was. In fact, I know it was. Yeah, my uh, head's been down. You've been working? It. Just working. <laughs> well, and, so, and watching baseball. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I just saw that uh, Bernie Beard had got a gold medal in the American Lager for BBR. Oh, oh yeah, wow. That's awesome. That's pretty impressive. That's great yeah. news. Yeah, they were uh, um, American Lager. They won a gold in, and then the... Um, Flanders for their Flanders red, they want a gold as well. Great. Mm. Um, yeah, so they did great. There was other, there was a lot of local winners. Deft uh, and Ballast Point uh, both brought home two golds, two silvers, and a bronze. What did Deft get their gold in? Uh, the gold medals for Deft. So local gold medals. Um, uh, let's see. Bernie Beard got a got a gold. Uh, Deft got a gold for Belgian style dark ale. They got a Belgian style pale ale. Um, Belgian style sour ale was the Flanders with burning beard. Mm-hmm. Then um, they got uh, that's what they got their golds for, those two. That's and good. then they got um, their uh, their Belgian style dark and their um, gosh, they make some great beer. Yeah, mm. 
They for sure do. And then their uh, their um, their vice beer, their German style vice. Mm-hmm. Don't beat a deft horse. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, they they did great. A lot of you know, a lot of usual suspects around there. That uh, I mean, it was a great showing there. I mean, by by San Diego Brewers, but um, yeah, I was super excited to see the Burning Beard. You know, with that that the BBR, which I think is, Excellent. I mean, one of my favorite uh, loggers. You know, yeah. like it's a great summer beer for sure. Surprised, uh, surprised North Park didn't get any. Oh no, uh, I mean, there. I think they probably did. Maybe on their uh, party cup or their or their uh, what's the. Uh, um, not, what's the other one? Uh, Birdie the Bogey. Oh, I didn't. You know, I didn't look through the list super. Um, yet. I don't, and who knows? You know what they submitted, but the uh, I don't see. Uh, I don't see them on here. Just to, just these are these are great beers, but I mean, there's so many beers in San Diego that uh, you can get that are accessible that are just lights out. I mean, North Park, Def, you know. Uh, uh, original 40, uh, you got Burning Beard, you got uh, Pure McElhaney, Project. Pure, Pure Project, uh, McKellar. I mean, Society. I haven't drank as much beer from McKellar <laughs> in a while, but uh, Creative Creature, Pacific Islander. Why am I saying all these beers? <laughs> yeah, you guys got to write them down. Hey, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just to make the show notes worse. Yeah, those are going to be some notes. <laughs> That's for sure. Can't you just copy and paste those? Yeah, I do. But he still has to capture them all. <laughs> Chris's thumbs are going crazy. Um, he knows them all. He just yeah. didn't want to say them. It's fine. All right. Let's go on to number three. Number three. We are into Integrin, and uh, it's a lager. It's a fest beer. Hmm. This is a great can for Integrin, if you ask me. It just looks a, different than the one I had. Yeah, the can was different. Well, it's a different beer, probably. They probably have two different... Did you take a picture of yours? I do have it in my thing. I'll find it. But now that I think about it, Integrin, yeah. That's a good pour. I like all the foam. Well, foam, when I'm... I can make it without foam. People in some countries like the foam. Yeah, well, you want a little bit of it. Like, there's a couple places. uh, (laughs) Yeah, you look at the... uh, Like, all those pictures from, like... uh, uh, Oktoberfest, mm-hmm. like they're all like you know the mugs are like half uh, yeah half foam half foam. Hey, so uh, guys, what was the best beer that you guys had this week? Holy moly! Um, gosh, I had one. Where was I? I was at. Uh, where did I send one to you from the other day? I was like sitting in somewhere drinking a. Oh yeah, I was at the Golden Rhino Room. Down in, uh, for fall, I was drinking a lager down there, man. That thing was delish. So I sat there and had one. Their, their, their glasses are pretty cool. Oh, too. yeah, that's awesome. Did you bring home one? Did you buy one? No, I just, I got that Feist, uh, their uh, Feist beer there. We're going to be popping into next here with a big crowler mm. can. So we might be here all night. Mm. Mm. That's that a good really drinker, good. man. That is really good. Feist. This is Fest, actually. It's not not actually spelled like the German Feist, but uh, yeah, it's uh, that was my best beer. Uh, the the fall lager. Yeah, but while I was away, I <laughs> I was at that festival in Vegas. I'm not going to say any names of beers other than just one. I mean, Beer Zombie yeah. was the best oh. beer there. Oh. So uh, it was a, a fruited blueberry sour, I think. Mm. Blueberry and raspberries, and then uh, then they had a hazy IPA that was just lights out. He just does a really, really good job. And, but the other one was uh, uh, Sing Dao is the Chinese uh, lager that is the Heineken of China. Mm. I mean, it's just a great, mm-hmm. great beer. Oh, okay. And Mike and I were sitting around uh, just standing in front of this place because the guy wasn't pouring very many beers, but he had a ton of beer available. So we're just sitting there whipping down two ounces of uh, <laughs> Sing Dao every chance we got. <laughs> but it was super fun. A lot of beers. I mean, a lot of local you know, mm-hmm. beers. Was stuff. it just a all beer festival? Or was uh, it they, had, uh, they had some other things there, mm-hmm. but I mean, seriously, yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. To speak well, of. Well, you guys talk about like Stout Fest and Sour Fest. And yeah, it, but I mean, a, the, was this a, was just a beer beer fest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. anybody had their beer there. There was, uh, 
I, I, I can start naming names, but mm-hmm. I mean, there's a place in Vegas called the Huddle, uh, uh, which is a Huddle Brewing, and and uh, we tasted a, a hazy there it was really good too. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, there's lots of good beer in Vegas, but this was a a fun little uh, festival. Mike and I had a great time, and uh, like I said, Beer Zombie and uh, Sing Dao were our go to. Anyways, cheers, boys. Yeah. This one's Cheers. good. I really like that. Yeah. So the uh, this this Ennegrin Fest beer, um, you know, it's 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 their take on the uh, uh, the Marzen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was looking at that label. It's a really cool label. But it says uh, it says here on the side of the can, the logo for this can is the winner of the Design the Stein uh, 2021 contest, and it, oh, okay, uh, it named cool. that guy as old Channing Stevenson. So congratulations to Channing. Oh, that's a great, uh, that's a super cool little, uh, yeah, little thing. Awesome. Yeah. Um, they talk about, uh, um, yeah, this Fest beer is uh, reasonably malty, but less heavy and lighter in color than the Mars and with the bready, slightly sweet flavor rounded out by the herbal, uh, spicy and floral quantities of the German hop varieties. Uh, this beer may look and taste different from our Oktoberfest Mars and, uh, but with the bo- they will both get you up on the table in our beer garden or in your kitchen, singing Ein Prost der Gemut. Yeah, we should get, we get right. Janet out here and she can uh, yeah, pronounce exactly. it. I don't know. Here, right. I'm going I'm to... You guys uh, continue. No, I, I'll I think out. this doesn't look like a Marsman at all, but yeah. it tastes it's got really good. Really, really, so. good it's really good taste. If you can pick one up, I recommend it. Super drinkable. I didn't see any of these on uh, Integrin's stack down there at uh, Valley Farm, so... Mm. Bottlecraft, if you can get there. I, th- I would suggest that highly. And yeah. um, I think what I what, in my mind, I think I was confusing the epic, uh, yeah, can with maybe the, you were their, their fest beer is the blue can. There we go, man. You gotta love that. Yeah. That's some real German. That's what that that's what that beer has. It's a toasting, yeah, mm-hmm. big toast. clanker. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They're big. We old should steins. have big old mugs. We should have some steins. Yeah. Ein Prost. Mm. Mm. That is delish. No, that's really tasty. I could drink that beer. That's the type of beer, you know, fast beer. These are beers are made to be drank by yeah. the, the pints, right? Yeah, the, for sure. Fill yeah. the whole thing up. Right. By the leader. By the leaders. That you're drinking as you're no, eating bratwurst and sauerkraut and potato salad. Ooh. That sounds phenomenal. Yeah. Charlie, what's next? We are gonna drink some fall All right. best beer. This is a uh, 5.7% on this dog, and it is a big one. Let me tell you, this is, we're going to have to start, I'm going to just drink out of the can, I think. So, I'm not going to mess with any of that. So, Falls Fast Beer, they talk about uh, uh, caramel and toffee up front, floral hops, and clean, dry finish with mild bitterness, light to medium bodiness with a bright carbonation. Uh, brewed to be reminiscent of the harvest season, toasted malts, bready green characteristics, clean, light, Woo! and quaffable. Smells fantastic. Steve, while uh, Charlie's pouring that, what was, the, what was your favorite beer this week? I had a collab between Stone and Deschutes <laughs> called Let's Be Homies, a hazy IPA with awesome. a ton of honey in it. How was oh, it with had the honey. honey? Yeah, it was really the sweet and nice looking and very tasty. What's the one you have on your phone there? You got that's a little it. Drecker? Oh, that's a stone? Wow, it looked like yeah. a Drecker set up there for a second. Yeah. Yeah. So and um I think that's I poured good. I think I poured that poured that on a video too. So that's a good looking beer right there. Yeah. Good looking can too. Yeah. So I was out at uh, Vegas mm-hmm. and uh Karen Davis uh was uh she has started wallpapering the the bar area with labels off of beer cans. And some of them are phenomenal, especially the, you know, uh, Great Notion and uh, the Pure Project ones. And so she's got all these um, these labels up on the wall. And it's awesome because when I, when I showed up, there's only a few on there and now there's <laughs> many more. So, <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, yeah. you ever heard of Pass It? Yeah. <laughs> it's called you, football. You poured it for me. Instead. I know, I'm kidding. There we go. Look at that. So I, I think the... Oh, we're back to the... 
Sorry, not to do a ringtone. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's awesome. I think the uh, um, the best beer that I had this week. Uh, you know, I've, I've really been into wow. some light beers. I haven't really That's been hitting great. any stouts. Um, but it, you know, I, I uh, Modern Times just released this beer beer called Barnaby. That's uh, a golden lager. It was. Uh, hmm. um, Seven different breweries had made the same rendition of this golden lager mm-hmm. uh, for this um, for Barnaby Struve, who was a guy who uh, who worked at um, Three Floyds and uh, a couple other breweries mm. along the way. So there was like seven different breweries that that had made a, a lager with the same recipe, kind of made their own rendition. Super clean, crisp. It was really, really good. Very tasty. It was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. It was, yeah. It was. It was phenomenal. I was. And uh, you can get that at the Flavor Dome. Is it still there now? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it was a really good, you know, lager, which... It's just amazing that these breweries can do this wide breadth. Because, yeah. like, when breweries started, they just did, like, one... They one had their beer, one yeah. beer, and then... They're expanding <laughs> immensely. I mean, yeah. some of them, gosh. I mean... Across the whole... The whole Hubble Bionic. C has, like, hundreds mm-hmm. of beers. I mean, hundreds that they can brew. I mean, but they just... They have four new beers a week. Which yeah, is just, just blows me away, insane. you know. Three to four at least, yeah. but I mean they're just wicked. I mean they're so good. Yep. And uh, I just handed one out to my neighbor today. A little eight point two double dry hop foggy. Can't remember what it was, but it was a good one. Yeah, they're gonna start running out of names. Yeah. Yeah. No, they'll figure <laughs> it out. They have some other good ones, uh, new ones that are uh, that are out. But uh, oh yeah. We're just in a, it's in a terrible time. So we're going to yeah. drink all this great beer. <laughs> so what do you think of the fall? I like it. Chris? I think it's good. I think it's, I guess I'll. It's uh, pourable, right? Pour it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How good is it, Chris? <laughs> mm. Mm. I yeah, like it. You get that same caramel it color. tasty. Definitely smells a little more malty. I think a little. It's definitely tasty. This one is. This one is I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh that's tasty, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna rate this one as far as uh this is a crowler. This isn't even a canned beer, so this is a little bit fresher probably than these cans we got. But uh, I think I, I got this uh Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday because mm-hmm. I, today's Friday, so yeah, Wednesday I got this and doggone it. If it ain't good, I don't know what is. Mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of interesting that, <clears throat> you know, given that I, we went out to the Oktoberfest in El Cajon, mm-hmm. and you had these great beers from Germany, and then what San Diego's making, tap? they had seven or eight breweries, and then two or three beers per brewery. All German beers. All German beers, except for Coors Light or something. So, <laughs> it was really funny. Which is the real <laughs> German beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you could almost do that Oktoberfest in, with local... Brewers, you, know, you like, could, but it wouldn't yeah. be near. I mean, good. but it, it would it would be an interesting. Honestly, I you know it'd be like it'd be like the La Mesa. Uh, no, yeah. They, they when they used to do, um, yeah, I think it used to be like Carl Strauss over there. Well, it was, was they had Carl Strauss, and then they had well, originally they had Dortmunder and Lohenbrau. Dortmunder is a German beer. Lohenbrau is not a German beer. So, I mean, it's a German beer style, I think. But it's it's not made in Germany, so you get you know all these people in there, and then we were pouring, we were pouring uh, Miller Light. Uh, the, I, I poured Bud beer Light there one time, something. and it was yeah. uh, it was all Carl Strauss, which at that time you know like they they make a decent uh, Oktoberfest. Uh, that was you. Oh, their fest, their Oktoberfest is great. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, but then there was a lot of like Tower Ten or you know, yeah. <laughs> you know it was like that's all. It was all. There oh, was three yeah. or four. Yeah, different I, I was of... saying like the style, right? Yeah, so right. If you went out to, you know, you had these breweries here. Or, sure. You know, Fallbury could could actually have well, a, a keg of their version of that thing out there. Right. I mean, like stuff. Burning Beard last year, they did their um, October Oktoberfest, and they had like all of the like the Wear Vultures Fair, which which stuck around this year as like a canned beer. Yeah. For most of the year. But they did like four or five different beers. But there's a lot of breweries that, you know, I, I mean, I think it's a fun time of year. Well, do you right? remember so, when they did the, like their that, first yeah. Berliners that were just lights out? Remember those? Right. And they would pour the syrup in there for you and everything? Ooh, those things were legit. But guess what? I mean, 
you can do that once a year, mm-hmm. you know. And how many people are you going to you get enough people to buy it and drink it? I don't know. You mm-hmm. know. I and mean, if they don't know what a Berliner is, they don't, you know they can't they can't drink it or they won't drink it. Right. Well, so there it is, guys. I mean, that's four different uh, Oktoberfest beers. Uh, we, we started off with the Sierra Nevada, followed with the Founders, uh, the, those two Marzins. Uh, and then we we hit that Ennegrin, the Fest beer, uh, another another Marzin, followed that up with the the Fall Fest beer. Of those four, guys, which, uh, which one do you think? Uh, which one wet your whistle? I'll go with the Founders. You like the founders? Yeah. If I had to drink another yep. another Oktoberfest beer, it would be that one. I it, um how about you, Charlie? It was really the founders was absolutely awesome. Uh-huh. The integrin was good. I was kinda surprised that the uh the Amber Marzen from uh Sierra Nevada was as good as it was. But I'm gonna go with a ball, personally. This thing is this is right down my alley. It's 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 just I mean, they're all good. I mean, I, I can give them that credit, but uh, the most the most Marzany looking one was definitely the Founders. So, but that taste is is good. But this is I'm digging this a little bit more. That's yeah. just my personal flavor. Um, I, I like the fall. I, I thought they were all great. Uh, I'm a fan of the style. Um, the, the fall is super tasty, but uh, I think I'm going fast. Uh, the fast beer, the Ennegrin. Mm-hmm. Um, so that. Yeah. There it is. And, Pretty and good. Josh wants to do an Integrin All uh, integrin? Tour, tour next year. I would be. Because they have a different. huge Oktoberfest at the brewery. Oh, do they? Yeah. There's a lot spot. of places to go. We just got to get there. I'm a fan. Well, there it is. The, uh, until <sighs> next time. It smells so good and tasty. There it is. We'll finish our Oktoberfest and I was gonna say, our <laughs> sauerkraut eating contest. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.